Hello and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today's video is on the negative opinions on cloth, plaid, on cloth pads due to hygiene concerns when we obviously bleed onto them. Usually these comments appear um, on videos here on YouTube, on Instagram posts and the like and are usually pretty similar in content that you can never get cloth pads truly clean, that they're disgusting, that you should throw away any products that collects bodily fluid. This irritates me as it shows a remarkable lack of knowledge regarding not only menstruation but bodily fluids in general. I'm sure that quite a few menstruators uh, have bled onto but not limited to bedding, mattresses, clothing, underwear, towels, chairs, and carpets. Often the associated shame of this means that these items get removed and washed. There are also such a severe lack of understanding about how cloth, either in clothing, bedding or towel forms or versions, gets either dirty or clean. Frequently there are bodily fluids on all of the previous mentioned cloth and we just treat and wash them accordingly. These fluids can include sweat, blood and sex fluids. We don't throw them out because that would be a financial and environmental waste. If we only wore everything once and then threw them out or changed the sheets every day because you do sweat every night in your sheets, that um, it would be a ridiculous amount of financial craziness to do that. If you think throwing out your towel after your shower is ridiculous, then, show is throwing, then the, so is throwing out your cloth pads. You wash everything else you own, even when you get blood or fluids on them, and we need to have better education in place for both menstruators and non-menstruators to understand that periods aren't dirty or unhygienic. Part of this education, education should be to stop using derogatory and harmful language such as sanitary napkins or feminine hygiene products as these words and associations reinforce menstrual taboos and that there is something dirty about menstruation and implicitly feminine. To be perfectly clear, there is nothing inherently unsanitary about menstruation nor are they unhygienic? With balance and even self-care, they can even be they can be taken care of like any other bodily function. As a community, words that restrict and dismiss menstruation as feminine, weak, and in need of control by hygiene or sanitary products needs to be banished and treated with the contempt they deserve. We can do better in educating all in menstrual matters. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.